Hi everyone, welcome to, I think, just move my cable out of the way, um, part four of this um, colouring piece. Sorry, I'm just um, putting a charger on my camera so it doesn't run out of battery. There we go. Right, sorry about that. So we've got the um, end of this little um, cottage picture to do. Um, we're not trying to match it 100%, just take some ideas from the other side. And uh, I'm going to start with the um, path. Now it's quite a grey brown colour in the picture. I don't have that sort of brown colour. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is do a layer of my lightest brown. Um, just looking actually. Yeah. No, this colour. This colour here might just work. This is called Sienna. We're using the Derwent um, Lightfast. And I'm going to use that and I'm just going to do a fairly light layer and just see how it looks. We don't want it to look too reddish. I think that's okay. I'm just going to do a sort of round and round movement. Now these um, pickaxes haven't been coloured in. I'm actually just going to do that. Or else there's a big chance I might completely forget. I'm just going to use my granite to do the um, bases. I did the handles in a bit of brown when I was fiddling around with all the wood but I haven't done the bases of those. That shovel is brown. I'm just going to go over it with that and we'll do that pickaxe too. There, just basic. We could, um, oh, leave that out. We could, um, I've tried to make them look a little bit shiny but I think that's okay. You know, they're quite small. So uh, we'll just carry on like this. So I hope you're all having a good day. I don't know what time of day it is when you're watching this. Obviously in the UK this goes out very early in the morning. Well, I say very early. I put them out at sort of quarter past seven because that's the sort of time I finish my breakfast and I can um, pop little, um, um, little posts on some social media channels just to let you know that the video is ready. So uh, you probably might spot it on um, Instagram and my Facebook page and some other Facebook groups um, and, um, and on Reddit and Pinterest. I just pop it everywhere really. I've even just started a TikTok um, page but I'm not really sure what to do with TikTok but uh, I just had a short video and thought I would have a go, but my son was giving me some tips this morning. He said some people just um, take their normal videos and um, just sort of make black lines around them and chop them and shrink them and sort of fit them in. I wasn't really sure. Now around this tree trunk area, I haven't quite figured out what's going on. You see, I think these are meant to be grass actually, and I've probably coloured them in path looks a little bit messy what I'm actually gonna do I'll show you uh, if I can find the pen which has disappeared we'll use this one this is a Jelly Roll 08 it may or may not work I've got two and one's run out and one hasn't and uh, I'm just gonna go over those lines I don't frequently do this but this could very well be the pen that's run out what oh, seems to be okay and just disappear them a little bit because um, I've coloured it wrong basically there. and it just um, makes it sit back a little bit you can't see it it doesn't make it disappear completely you could colour back over it with the brown after but I will need to wait for it to dry I would have used a Posca but as I say oh there it is I found it and I was using it yesterday now a path um, in the picture we've got areas of dark and light. What you could do is here by the bridge where it's a bit darker, you could just put another layer on top. But because it's, this is also reflected in the grass and I haven't done that, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it. But I want another layer on top and I'm going to use a lighter colour. I'm just having a little look to see what to use. I'm actually thinking, yeah, I might use this. It's called Flesh Pink. But it's almost a brownie pink, I think. And I'm just going to use that on top just to um, sort of smooth it and burnish it and darken it a little bit. And just add an extra layer to, uh, you know, get rid of a bit of that white that's there. It doesn't matter having a little bit. And it's not going to, I'm not going to spend too long. The fact that the path isn't an even colour, I think is a good thing. It isn't in the picture. There were lots of little odd details here with dirt and bits and bobs. I'm not doing those. 
we could do. But, you know, if we attend to every detail like that, we can spend about ten times longer on this page. And uh, I'm trying to do it for you in a manageable way. Oh, sorry, I've got an itchy arm this morning. I'm going to push up. In fact, I might zoom in a little because oh, I've got the room. Not too far. We don't want to lose the uh, lose everything. We're going to have a go at the water. Can you see the whole page? Let's go out a bit. That was a bit too far. There we go. Um, I'm going to do the water at the bottom. Now we can see we've got a little bit of reflection here and here. So we're going to do that first because if we leave it till last, we'll not manage it because um, we'll have other colours there. So I'm just thinking which colours to use. It's quite light yellowy, isn't it? So I think we use the sun yellow. It's just a mid yellow. And the reflection is here sort of opposite these flowers. It's not drawn in on our picture. So I'm just going to, whoops, break my pencil. Pull it in there like that. And then a little bit further across, so it's about here, I reckon. Like that. And I'm just going to leave it, this is a lot paler in this picture than I've done it, but I'm, that's okay. Right, water. Now this water is a slightly purpley blue. I'm actually going to start with a layer of the mid ultramarine. We've used this quite a bit in this in this um, book. So, in this page I mean, so I think it will work quite nicely. And if you look at the picture that I'm copying, you can see there's lines in the water, lots of sort of ripples. So if we can make sure we do a cross movement like this, we can start to get that ripple look. Obviously, um, this is just our, I say obviously, this is just our first layer, it's not obvious at all. This is just the first layer of water. You could leave it at just one layer if you want to. But we're going to add a little bit more. We've got some shadow under the bridge, if you have a little look. And we've got this sort of ripply effect, which we're going to try and mimic, but in a slightly simpler way. So my husband was looking um, yesterday at a website. Um, who was it he was looking at? Oh, Colt Pens. Colt Pens, probably a website that most of you will have used. I might just do a few lines across. We don't want it looking too green. And um, he noticed that they sold colouring books. He was like, oh, that's a bit dangerous to know. Now, he's a big Colt Pens shopper. I'm not. Um, I don't know. I don't shop as much as him for art materials. And... Uh, he noticed there was a colouring book by Rosalind Wise. I was tempted to ask him to get it for me, but I'm going to put some stripes in now. Now, we've got some lines here for ripples. We might try and follow those a little bit, just to make it sort of look, make sense. We're going to use a darker pencil as well. I'm just going to pick a pencil while I waffle on. So, um, um, the Rosalind Wise is actually a local artist to us. I think we'll try the ocean blue dark. It sounds like it's a watercolour to me, but I think it's going to be quite dark. I'm going to just add some lines and ripples and touches just in areas that sort of go alongside these lines that are drawn on already. I'm sort of making it up as I go along. I'm not really copying the picture at the moment. I'm going to go into the picture in a minute and look at the shading a bit. So anyway, she's um, this sort of local artist and there's a colouring book of hers and he said do you want it and I said well he says quite cheap and so he told me a few of the details now we've got shadow here I'm gonna do I'm only pressing lightly um so I said well how much is the postage and it was quite a cheap book but the postage was almost as much as but he said well it depends how much I buy how many other things I buy so uh, I didn't encourage him because I know he would uh start buying lots of materials which uh, for him and he's got plenty I would say now I've got quite a lot of dark um, and that's going along by the bank here oh that's there's the end of my pencil so I'm gonna sort of continue this along and just sort of fade it out a little bit So anyway, her uh, Rosalind Wise does a lot of flowers um, pictures. She does a lot of her pictures have grasses and things in, but the ones in the colouring book, which we had a quick look on Amazon, which is out of stock on Amazon, 
to uh, see what they look like to try and do a look inside and uh, there were they were all florals which was rather nice but um, I haven't looked to see if anyone on YouTube has done a flip through which would be my next step before buying any book I don't know about you but I like to have a look and see what I'm getting before I buy and I like to think you know because I like to complete books I want to like most of the pictures in it or sometimes I think well I shouldn't be so um, I'm just looking we've missed a bit of yellow here which I've just noticed I'm not going to worry about it I guess it's this window but anyway I'm just going to sort of add a bit to this some um, reflection this some um, shadow maybe if we do that actually I'm going to try and put a little bit of yellow in there it will go a bit green but Okay. I'm just going to put a bit more. So yeah, I like to have a look and see what I think, and uh, that you know, see what they're like first. So there are lots of colouring books. If I bought every one, I'd have a lot. Actually, I have had a request from someone to show you all my colouring books. I am going to make that video at some point. Might mm, might not do it today actually, as I've just been listing books for sale, not colouring books or art books, and my kids revision guides I've been listing them for sale we sort of held on to them for a bit and I thought about giving them to school their school to uh, use but in the end I'm grabbing a chocolate brown because I'm going to start doing some of this rock detailing and it's all very dark at the bottom so I'm going to go into every rock with quite a dark um, layer Ugh, at the bottom I've been using much harder pencils lately. Um, I, I've um, had a break from recording this. Um, I uh, I did a bit. I did it on Monday, and it's now Wednesday. So in between, I've been using. Um, I used some Norris pencils yesterday, which are really hard, and uh, so I've been used to pressing quite hard. It's very hard to work out what's going on under this bush. I'm tempted to just make it all really dark because the whole bush is quite dark. I might just lighten it up towards this end a bit like that. We're going to add another brown to the tops. Obviously, not going to leave them white. But uh, we can just get some of this dark shadow in. Now under here there's a lot more rocks which haven't been drawn in. So I might just put a dark layer in there actually but um, anyway yes I was sorting out my kids books for sale and I've got so so I've got a big pile of books um, on the floor around where I am and I don't want to get muddled between um, those books and uh, the, my colouring books and things so I shall wait and see I put them on on Facebook marketplace so um, and I priced them low so I'm hoping for a quick sale um, I'm hoping people don't think they're low priced because this is really tricky I'm trying to work out what is a stalk and what in fact I'm going to stop I'm going to do the stalks and then I'm going to come back now they're quite a dark green um, I'm thinking forest is one of our darker greens. I'm going to use that. And I think it'll be easier to just try and work out where the stalks and stems are. I'm going to do the whole thing, the whole of the stalk and leaf in this colour. Just for ease, to be honest. Make it easy on ourselves. Some of these are white bits, aren't they? Mm. I don't like trying to colour white. It can be tricky. Something I need to learn. Anyway, so I've got lots of books hanging about which I'm hoping will sell quickly. And then I can uh, have the space because I am making room to get myself a little dedicated recording space which is very very exciting um, our office is full of stuff and um, 
back to the chocolate. And um, so I need to clear it out. Some of it needs to go into another room, which needs space made in it, etc. So one of them, my son's got the really big attic room. He's got a sort of storage corner. And at the moment, there's a lot of stuff old. I reckon there's grass in there. Hmm. Maybe some rocks. That's rocks. Maybe, oh, that's a plant. Um, so um, so he's got his school books which as I say I'm going to sell and the children can have the money for their bank accounts for the future and uh, what's that? that's green and um, um, then there'll be a bit more space I've got to sort out some of their toys old toys and things some of them I'm going to hold on to like the Lego because uh, you never know, if they have children, they might want to uh, have it for them. And uh, I've just generally got to sort of tidy everything up, really. And then there'll be room. It's going to be quite a mammoth job, but I don't need to get it sorted until the summer. So it means I need to do a little bit each week. Because some of the stuff needs chucking away. And um, we... Uh, only get our bins emptied fortnightly as most places in the UK do try and encourage recycling which is all great until you having a big sort out and so um, I'm just trying to work out I think this looks like shrubbery and this looks like a rock here and um, so I can uh, our bin uh, our bins are really small and so they take two bin bags full of rubbish that's all um, I'm going to do the tops of the rocks next I'm just picking a colour I want them to go quite light I'm thinking the Van Dyke brown it's quite light I think it might just work we'll have a look see how we uh, how it goes that's it yeah I'm not happy with that it sort of gives them a bit of texture um, so we usually put a bin bag out a fortnight they're only emptied fortnightly and so I've only got one bin bag's worth of space in the bin. So um, I filled that today um, with a couple of bits of packaging material that were inside a cardboard box that were in the it, that was in the bedroom. And with that packaging material, I am probably going to be able to fill um, another two, three bins. And then um, I've got a load of other stuff as well going to take me a long old time to get rid of it all but it means I can just take my time and slowly sort and so I'm trying to sell these books that'll get something out of the way and then I ha will have to sort out the toys with the children um, in the holidays I think some of the boxes can go out for recycling the cardboard but that doesn't get collected this week so I'm just trying to organise my brain and uh, think about all the jobs that need to be done, really. And there we go. Oh, we've got this one to do as well. We've actually got a rock over here as well. I'm just going to do the top. And that one. And then get our chocolate and do the base. You can see how it saves time if you sort of deal with all the similar coloured items in one go. Which is how I like to do things. Now, this bit is grass, and we used um, what did we use we used the grass green seventy percent, didn't we? And the grass green, so we can do that now. So that'll be nice and easy. We'll just go over all that grass. I'm trying to see it. My um. Not very high across. Oh, across. There we go. Trying to keep it the page the um, page held down. There we go. <laughs> you see the edge of my pencil tin. So so yeah, it's very exciting. So the idea is that the office is right next door to here, so I can keep my recording set up there all the time. That's a rock. Um, I should be doing this way, shouldn't I? It's grass. And um, then I can just um, 
if everyone's here I can still pop there and record something which is really exciting because um, normally when people are here I can't record because they're too noisy they were oh it's hi mum and then I start doing it and they all talk and pam pam <laughs> so uh, so yeah that will be really good and I'm thinking summer holidays the children finish college college finishes earlier than schools college finishes on the 8th of June it's really early looks like got another rock there in as well and uh, so they'll be home for probably about 10 weeks and previous summer I recorded enough videos to um, to keep me going right through the summer without having to record but um, it was took a lot of time to do that all in advance and I had a bit more time than I have now because I have children home two days a week now because they don't go into college it's harder to record because I'm going to grab the chocolate again do those couple of rocks because um, they have to concentrate on their study it's not fair if I'm disturbing them and they're in the same room as where I record and then the Van Dyke brow to do the top and so um, that's tricky. So it, it makes it harder for me to get keep on top of everything. Okay, now we are going to use the um, grass green, which is the slightly darker one, to go over this grass and just make it look um, a little bit darker in patches. It doesn't need to be even. Now this isn't the same colour as in the picture. It's the same colour as this grass, which is the... Um, how it should be. Um, I haven't got exactly that colour. My grass looks quite different, but I don't mind. There we go. Now we have the flowered bushes. So we have these white ones, and we have white ones over here. And hmm, we did the white ones with pen, didn't we, over there? Because we couldn't replicate, we couldn't get it to work. These we can probably do in pencil because um, I'm tempted to do them in a cream. This is called champagne. It's slightly yellowy. I think it will just look like I've coloured them. Whoops, pressing too hard. Let's just slow down. Do them gently. There. And it just then looks like I've coloured them. If you want them to look like they're really white, white around the edges and things like that, sort of work. And they sort of have a darker centre each of them, if you have a look, um, each of them's got a little dark bit in the middle. I'm just going to grab the um, sienna that we use for the par and see if I can just dab a bit in the middle of some of them. There we go. Let's see. Now, this one, I can't see what colour that is. It's, I think it's a pinkish colour. I don't really have pink in this set. Um, not a light pink, so I'm going to use the heather. And we've got a few. I'm just going to use these circles that I marked on as the flowers. It's not. It doesn't follow the picture exactly, but that's how I'm going to do it. Um, that's a white one there. Just grab the champagne. Okay. Um, got white over here. We'll leave those. And we've got some orange and some pink down here. So again, I don't uh, sort of have a pink. What colour did I use for those? I think I used the cherry red. We'll use that. That might work. So we're going to do some orange here, like these. And we're going to do these pink. And we're just going to put some pink circles around all over the place. I don't know what that is why that's been drawn differently. Now we want them quite dark because we're going to be going around them with a the green and so we want them to stand out. There's quite a lot of them and these go all the way down to the bottom. This It's only this bit that's orange although it doesn't have to match exactly. If you want to change the colour, change the colour. Uh, those, oh my, we've done those, that's okay. So this orange is quite a peachy subdued type orange. I'm going to do it in the burnt sienna. You can see it's not a really vibrant, vibrant orange, but hopefully it still stand out. So the 
closest I can do really. And these. And we haven't done those across the water either. These. Um, yellow. They're yellow, aren't they? Let's use. Yeah, let's use this yellow, this sun yellow that we've got out already. Oh, some chattering outside. I'm just being nosy. Oh, I think someone's at the door. Maybe some. Maybe it's a postman. Oh yeah, someone's trying to push something through my door. I'm just going to stop the camera. Well, that was very exciting. I've been sent a little gift from Amazon, I think. Well, it was, I haven't ordered it and it's come to me, so it's something that was on my wish list. And it was some um, refills for my Tombow Mono Eraser, which is a fantastic um, gift. Uh, it doesn't say who it's from, though. So thank you if it was you that sent it to me. That is absolutely amazing. Really, really exciting. Thank you so much. I'm going to find the next green while I'm getting all excited. And the other was something that I ordered, um, which I will do a video about, so I won't reveal. I'm going to use the Olive Earth to go around my yellow flowers. It isn't the right colour at all, is it? Hmm. Should we match that a bit better? I think we will. I'll put that back and we'll pretend that didn't happen. And we'll go in with the spruce green. I just colour over that. If you've done that, colour over it, it'll just make it be darker down there. It doesn't matter. There we go, look. No one's noticed. So that's really exciting. So uh, we got uh, so I've got my other parcel of things that I ordered, which are, as I say, I'll do a video about. And um then and it's much bigger than I expected, which is exciting. So I don't really know. I do an unboxing and stuff video, and uh, yeah. And so that little eraser, that's brilliant. It's a really lovely item. I know someone did say they wanted to get me something useful um, that uh, that I might sort of um, need or a little something. So that's really brilliant. It's so handy. So uh, I will try and find out who it was. I uh, do tr like to do that, but uh, thank you. If it was you, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's really lovely. It has got, it's actually it had a return address on the label, but had an Amazon thing inside. I'm a bit confused by that. Um, my pencils are in my way. I'm just going to shove them up here. I say shove them, gently push them away, not shove them. That's not okay. I don't shove my pencils back. So I'm just trying to do these uh, stems. Now you could do several shades of green on each of these if you want to, but if you look in the picture it's all quite dark. You can barely actually see these in the picture. I'm not too worried. I'm quite happy with just keeping with this fairly dark colour. I'm thinking about maybe doing a little bit more with the water. I'm wondering what that is. I can't see that in the picture either, this. I'm just going to cover it like it's a bit of a leaf or something, I don't know. Now this is our bush with white flowers, so we're just going to colour it in this. I'm going to do a rounded movement, try and make it look bushy. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully. There we go. Now these again, these have got some little dots of pink on them, but I'm just going to colour them in this colour. And uh, we'll see. There we go. And then these bushes again, try and go around all of our colour. You can add this colour after if you use a pen. It would have to be a paint pen and acrylic marker in like a Posca or something um, and you can put it on top but I find they're very very vibrant well the ones I have are I've only got the PC1 MRs and they're quite limited that's the small bullet tipped pens they're quite limited in the color range the slightly bigger ones um, they're still the same size of tip but they're a 
a rounded tip. They have small colours in those. My um, local art shop used to have them um, in lots of different colours, but um, she didn't always have the right colours and sizes. The stock was a little bit limited. The thing is, she was um, she was trying to sell up and didn't always keep in lots of stock um, that wasn't, you know, depending what was selling. Really, well, I don't blame her. And uh, so I didn't see the full range. Unfortunately, she did. Uh, she did close down in the end. Now we've got these back lines through here. These, and I'm not sure about them. I think I might just colour over them and make it a little bit darker behind them, as if it's sort of overlapping a bit of bush. Those are a bit weird, like that just sort of make something off them really okay I'm going to do the squirrel oh we've got the white let's do the white flowers from over here now they're quite big flowers I've got my J roll I'm just going to try and draw like a little splodge here and there doesn't want to work okay sometimes really good I want to go quite lightly I don't want them to they're not really bright Oh, it's, this is it's not working very well which for me is a good thing because it just looks it's just a little bit there like that quite quite vague probably won't you probably can't barely see it squirrel next um i do want to do a bit more on the water but i'm gonna do squirrel now a squirrel has this lighter bit around the outside of the tail it's a little bit tricky what we're going to do is do a base squirrel color let me see what sort of color is he hmm. Let's do, what did we grab before? No, that's too, yeah, let's do a light bronze squirrel. Okay, first, this isn't gonna be his actual color, so don't worry, we're just gonna go over the whole, whole of him. Even the bit around the outside of the tail, don't worry about that, like that, okay. Then we're gonna take a darker brown, we'll take our Van Dyke brown, we don't want a really dark brown, and start to, put in some darker areas so the bottom of his feet and legs we'll just fade it up and his arms he's holding a nut got the detail i guess this came from a much bigger picture so i'm just making him darker at the bottom now his tail is actually quite dark and then light around the outside so i'm gonna do that now, i don't like that weird line I'm going to use my white pen. I'm trying to zoom in because it's really small. But, um, I'm not going to show you the original picture because he's so small. So I'm going to take my white pen. I'm going to go all the way around this bit, his tail, and erase it. Okay. And then I'm going to draw some lines like this with my pen to make it look like fur. Put those a few through the tail and on his back and the top of his head. Not too many, don't lose the shape of his ear. And then just a few through. It's quite small. There we go. And that's it. Now I zoom out and you can um, see how he compares to the original. I like that. Very different. There we go. Okay, water. I want to add a bit more. It's quite a purpley tinge to the water, so I'm just going to do a little bit of that. Um, um, I've got a blue violet, which I think might work. I'm going to go quite gently now. Whoops. These are quite vibrant, so we don't want to press really hard. I just want to add some lines. So we can, if we add lines, it looks gives us more of the look of the water. Now that bit's the dark bit, so we'll move away from there and add it on the edge like this. And just a little bit through and I think it'll look a little bit more like the water in the picture. And in the picture it actually has um, pink in it, as far as I can see. It looks pink, but... Uh, I'm not sure if I can carry that off. I don't have the right pink, I don't think. But I'm just going to carry on with this. Just little lines. 
and hopefully it helps the uh, miss out that bit. Again, we don't want too many green stripes on our yellow. This is the problem with using pencil. Remember, he's using oil. He can um, put white colours on top and we can't. There we go. So we're looking a little bit um, darker and more purpley. We could try. Hmm. Hmm. We could try a little bit of this. This is the heather. Let's just try a bit. A few stripes in the water here and there. The page doesn't want to stay down. That will look a bit better. Let's go in here. Now that flower had some, had a little bit of coloured flowers on it, but I think I will ignore that. Keep it simple. This is going to be our last little bit. And then I will zoom out and show you the whole thing. There we go. Orange shop Just pop that back under the yeah. oh, that's the best I can do, I think. So there is I'm finished with that. You could keep adding layers and layers of colour, put some more texture in here, add more moss, make the house darker, make more the trees look more gnarly, you could make the grass look a bit more realistic, put more dark patches on the path. I'm going to leave it. I'm really happy with how it looks now and I'm going to leave it there. But, you know, it's up to you. You can spend ages and ages on it or just finish right now. So thank you for watching this series. I hope it has helped make you see how you can make it a little bit more simple from this book. You don't have to try and copy it exactly. So I hope that's helped you a bit. So thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, you did it. It's a long old video, set of videos, wasn't it? But thank you so much and happy colouring.